morning and welcome back to Saponify where we magically turn oil into soap. Now today's video is going to be about longevity or how to improve the lifespan of your soap, how to make it last longer. So I'm just going to jump into the soap making calculator that I use to show you where to find the longevity number and um, to just show you how they got to that number and then all the other stuff that is going to influence how long your soap lasts in the shower. I like to use Soap Making Friend. Um, just check in the description box, um, I will leave links to on how to use the soap calculator if you're new to it and how to save unlimited amounts of um, recipes on it and so on. So um, I'm just going to open it, it's soapmakingfriend.com, recipes, I'm just going to click on a new recipe. And the internet is as slow as the electricity today. Okay, there we go. So I'm just going to go down. Under number five, you will find your oils, fats and waxes. I'm just going to use coconut oil as an example here. Um, chicken fat, co co coconut oil. If you stand on the information bar there, the eye, then it will give you all the information. If you click on it, it's going to open it right underneath the oil. Then you don't need to hover over it. Okay, longer levity is 12 for coconut oil. Now the normal idea is that the harder your soap is, the longer it will last. And the reason why I use coconut oil as an example is to show you that's not always the truth. Okay, long levity. Coconut oil gives you a very, very hard bar of soap. Here it shows the hardness is 79. But how they get to the longer levity is they take the hardness and subtract cleansing from that and then you get your longer levity number. So we've got the hardness is 79, cleansing is 67, so 79 um, take away 67 is going to give you 12. So this is where they get the longer levity number from. Now they only take these two factors um, into account to get to the longer levity number, but there's more stuff that's going to influence it. But before we get there, let's just quickly look at our um, fatty acids in our soap. Your palmitic acid and your stearic acid are two of the less soluble um, fatty acids in soap. So they're going to give you a harder soap. They're going to give you a hard soap, but they're also not going to um, dissolve as quickly as some of the others. Lauric acid, um, we've got 48% in coconut oil. Lauric acid is what gives you those big, big bubbles and um, a very high cleansing value. Um, it is also very soluble as a soap. So lauric acid, the higher the lauric acid is, the higher is your sol solubility in your soap. Okay, so those are the three fatty acids that has actually got lots of influence on your longer levity. Okay, let's quickly check on other things, additives. As you know, you can add lots of stuff to your soap. Now, salt is one of them. Salt will give you a harder bar of soap, but salt also kills a little bit of your bubbles. It could be noticeable, it could not be noticeable. It depends on how much you're gonna add to your soap. So, um, if you're adding salt to your soap, it can maybe increase the longer levity a little bit more. But keep in mind, if you add a lot of salt to your soap, then um, it's going to attract moisture to it as well. So it can soften your soap while it is standing in very humid environments. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Another thing that you can add to your soap, what people love to do, is to add sugar to your soap. Now sugar increases your bubbles, um, which is a lovely thing if you want more bubbles. But remember, the more bubbles, the more you're going to dissolve your soap as well. So if you add a lot of sugar to your um, recipe, into your soap, then it can decrease the lifespan of your soap. Okay, another thing is uh, moisture, water content in your soap and around your soap. Now, if you look at your moisture content in your soap, if you use a high um, uh, a one to two, one to three, especially with your uh, wood process soaps, you use more water to make your soap. Now, that water must evaporate out of your soap. Now here in South Africa, everybody is very familiar to sunlight soap. Now when I grew up, grandma or even my mom will um, buy the soap, take it out of the packet and say, you know what, if you take it out of the packet and just leave it a bit, then it's going to last longer. Now the reason for that is sunlight soap starts with, a, it's a very soft soap when you buy it. And when you leave it out, then you actually just evaporate the extra um, moisture out of it. It um, is a harder bar of soap and then it just lasts longer as well. Now this is the same with your natural soaps that we make. Um, when you dissolve, uh, dissolve. if you evaporate um, moisture out of it, then it's going to be harder and your soap is going to last longer as well. 
which bring me to the point on how you store your soap. If you are using soap and it's in a shower and it stays wet all the time, then it obviously is going to get even more, uh, even softer and then it's not going to last as long. So get a nice soap rack that you lift it out of the water. Um, if it can dry in between uses, it's going to last longer as well. And I think I've got everything. Let me just quickly check here. Um, I've got the soap dish and everything, lauric acid, cleansing, da -da -da. I think I've covered all of them. I didn't skip anything. So I hope this is going to help you to let your soap last longer, to make a harder bar of soap. And yeah, stay safe, be blessed. Until I see you guys next time, and just enjoy your soap making. Bye.